friends and future friends, welcome to this indie sort of let's play, I guess, of a game called 35mm. From when I saw it on Steam, it looked like an interesting, like, Russian walking simulator kind of game, and I thought, why not experience that? Now, just as a little warning, if anyone does pick up this game, it does boot itself up in Russian because it was originally a Russian game, so... I found this second thing down, obviously, is settings, and you can switch the language to English here. Now when you do, like, when you do that in game, um, English comes up in English, so if you can, if you do manage to find it, then it does show you it's English there. So, right, that's what I wanted to say as like a preface to, preface to this. <laughs> words. Alright, so let's just get straight into it and start a new game. Now I turned down the sounds a little bit more so I'm hoping that hoping that they're not going to be too invasive. Although considering it's a walking simulator kind of game, a lot of it probably will be based on atmospheric sound so I don't know what I'm talking about. Right. Oh, also, this game is sort of set in post-apocalyptic Russia, I believe it was. And it follows either two brothers or two friends, I can't remember which they were, slash are. But that's what I'm going to say about it. We have one sad-looking guy. One guy in a doorway. And apparently no voices. Um... Why? Why are there no voices? <laughs> um, maybe because I switched it to... There we go. So they're just going to be like really delayed. Wait, can I play this? Oh, I can... Wait. Um, oh, well I can play it with a controller but I can't look up and down for some reason so it's going to be with a mouse and keyboard. Uh, I have to check my inventory, is that going to be I? I don't know how to do that. Shall I look in the house? Oh, F is flashlight. Um, what's this? That is nothing. Oh, I can turn my flashlight off. Can we take this? Uh, hmm, okay. Um, oh, there's a jump. What's this? Oh, <laughs> Oh, this is mine now. Hello, friend. Would you like this stool? Wait a second. Wait. Oh, he's got an invisible barrier around, and that sucks. Right. Excuse me. I just need to move my mouse around on my desk. Oh no. Wait. What? Why? What? I don't want to pick up the chest. Do I need to? <laughs> I wanted to open it. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Well, I'm glad it tells me what these controls are. Hello. Can we just like? Oh. Sure. Let's go. Do I just walk off? Is he gonna follow me? Friend, are you gonna follow me? Okay. Oh. Okay, bye! <laughs> um, oh, there we go. I was going to say, are we not going to walk together? <laughs> right, so I could do with something that tells me what the controls are. There's a notation, is that maybe it? Pick up... Oh, tab is inventory, okay. Pick up food, water... F and well, I didn't pick up anything from that house. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I should have looked first. That wasn't. This is going to be my own undoing, isn't it? Right, but 35 millimeter, like the film of a camera. I'm guessing because of the underlining it had on it, it sort of looked like a film reel. Oh, there we go. We've got one food. No, no plus. Whatever a plus is. No batteries. I'm assuming one film. Oh, one picture, and then 
to... Oh, we can... Oh, wow. We can still move even with the thing open. Oh, that's cool. Uh, can I flip the page? I don't know. Um, hey, friend. Wait. Friend. Ooh, is that a truck over there? Um, it's something. I don't know. So how's it going, friend? Now, one thing I did see in, like, reviews, like, when I looked, there were only a few reviews of this game, like, somewhere between 25 and 30. Oh, uh, oh, there we go, I can crouch. Like, some of the things that people were saying is that there wasn't enough interaction between, like, the AI and yourself, so... You may, if you do watch this, you may get stuck with me babbling a lot. <laughs> just like spouting random nonsense. So yeah, I'm just gonna like pre-warn you of that already. Right, I wanna, is that, oh it looks like a lumber truck, oop, casually knock my mouse. I was gonna say it looks like a lumber truck, I wanna say. So maybe there's some, oh, I was gonna say maybe there's something in the driving compartment. I was going to say in the drivey bit. Because I don't know, I don't drive. <laughs> oh, is that a thing? Can we can we get this? What's this? And correct. We'll reach the road soon. All right. So I assume it's this way then. Oh, sounds cracked for a second there. Right. So, like, I, I'm hoping that's a, rude. I was going to say he was just walking into me. Yeah, like I said at the beginning, it's meant to be like in... So, it's a walking simulator in post-apocalyptic Russia. So, um... I don't know what kind of apocalypse happened. But, like, judging by the world that we've seen so far from, like, the few min Oh, sweet popping over there <laughs> of tree chunks. Yeah, judging by what we've seen from the world already, it doesn't particularly look like there was any, or at least for this section, there doesn't really seem to be like, or it doesn't seem like there's been much of a major disaster because, like, unless we're in like a safe-ish area, me and this guy, we are just like casually wandering around out in the open, which... In like an apocalypse where you need to, where it's more or less every person for themselves, you wouldn't have thought that going around in the, oh, what was that? It was a tree. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't have thought in a time where it's everyone for themselves that wandering around or wandering through a, ma a massive open plain would have been the smartest thing to do. But I mean, maybe it's sort of like, um... There's a TV show that exists, I'm pretty sure, called The Leftovers. And I, I think i Okay. Yeah, and I think the prem... What? I'm trying to tell a story. And by tell a story, I mean talk about a TV show I've barely watched. Yeah, right, this Leftovers, I'm pretty sure I only watched like one episode of it because it sounded interesting. But then I got... I kind of got distracted in watching other things instead. <laughs> it was a case of, I think... I think it was like 10% of the globe's population just up and disappeared one day with like no explanation. So, yeah. Consid now I'm just gonna like add in, I only watched like the first episode of that show so I don't really know what happened or whether it was ever explained what happened to those people but shout out to this two dimensional grass. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know whether it's going to be like a thing like that where people just disappeared, but the fact that the that bird is really loud. The fact that this guy just said that um, uh, what is it that this is a dangerous place tends to suggest that <gasps> mushrooms can we take them as like food? Yep, or I could alternatively I could flash my flashlight on them. Hey, dude, we can't eat these those mushrooms, apparently. Yeah, maybe, since he said it was dangerous, maybe it's going to be like a Walking Dead kind of scenario. In that maybe... Squirrel. Tiny. 
That is a tiny squirrel. <laughs> Go on ahead, I'm just... Wow, that squirrel really showed up there. <laughs> oh, it was just a butterfly or a bird. Sorry, dude, I promise I won't get, like, too distracted. But then again, no promises. Right. So, I'm hope I read, like, I read the description of this game, but... Oh, there's a pylon over there, so maybe we are near the road. Right. Yeah, I read the description of this game, so maybe... <laughs> Maybe, wait, no, I'm going off on two different tangents. I read the description of the game, it told you more or less what you're doing, but I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot. But also there's a cutscene here, so, yeah. Oh, there's a car there, can we see if it works still? Maybe, is that a thing we could do? Oh, ambient music's playing. Okay, good pan. <laughs> we not gonna we not gonna look in that car. Hmm. Hey uh I don't know where you're going, but I'm gonna have a look at this car. It seems like a smart thing to do. <gasps> Hello you I can ta da And that is a photo of a bridge somewhere? I don't know. Oh, and we've got another food item. Nice. Uh, hey, you just sit there. Can I open the bonnet now? Oh, just casually get stuck on there. Can I open the boot? Oh, sorry. Pop the trunk if you're American. And I don't know why I said that. I have no good reasoning. Hey, I found some water, dude. Where are we going? What was that noise? You said we were going to go to the road, but where are we going to go after this? Are we going to go down this trail, or...? I want to go down the road. I'm going to see if he follows me. And if he doesn't, I'm going to assume... Wait, is there even a way to save this? I'm wondering. Oh, wait. Notation, um... History is automatically stored in checkpoints. Okay, right. Actions made during the game. Blah, blah, blah. Interaction with subjo uh, some objects increases power of your sprint. Okay. So, are we going to go this way, or...? No, I assume he wants us to go down that trail back into the forest. Didn't... Dude, didn't you mention that we were going to go go to the road? I don't know. I guess, oh, I guess we have to go down the forest trail. Are you going to tell me where we're going at all, dude? Are you going to tell me where we're going? Where are we going? Rude. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm a ghost. <laughs> I know I have no personality, but that's no reason just to walk inside of me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, it's taking control. Oh, am I going to be told about the camp? Cool. Okay, <laughs> just took a photo of some trees. And the screen's gone black. Oh, it's loading up. Um. Alright. Did you work as a press photo photographer? Well, since this was originally in Russian, I'm assuming English wasn't the first language. Wait. Someone once called the camera by a little t called the camera a little time machine. It can bring you into the past to remember and to feel emotions that accompany us during that life period. Sometimes it is extremely painful, though. It's good that there is such a possibility, though. What was I saying before? I got distracted. I'm not gonna lie. Oh right, Russian. It was originally done in Russian, so. I'm assuming English wasn't the first language of the creators of this, so... Do expect some misspellings like that photographer one in the subtitles. Just as a little warning, because I'm assuming... 
Again, like reiterating for like the third time, English probably wasn't the first language of the game developers. Or who knows, maybe it was, maybe they just used Google Translate or something. Alright, oh dear. Also, I wonder when we're going to get to a checkpoint, because I'm just wondering how long to make these episodes, because I'm thinking about going like my regular- Ooh, there's a campfire there. I'm thinking about doing my regular 20 minute ones. Ooh, there's a can of food. Can I- Can I see what it is? Oh, they're empty cans. That is a lot of cigarette butts. Hmm. Anything in- anything in there? Uh, that looks like- it, that one in the middle looks like an unopened can. Uh, let's see if- hello. Um. The handle is wrapped with rope. It can be cut off. Well, we do have two knives. How do I use them? K for knife. Um, M for melee? Flash. You know what, I'm just gonna do that. I'll press every button on the keyboard until something happens. Or at least, oh, that's flashlight again. Uh, Z? Nope, 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 right. Numbers. Oh, I've taken my camera out. Okay, so one gets your camera out and puts it away. I heard a dog. Oh! What? Hey, dog. Ta-da! Put that away. Yeah, you talk to that doggo. I'm gonna get this. Nice can of food. Eh, doggy, doggo. Hi, do you want this can that I just found? Hey, doggo, how's it going? Yeah. This is 100% gonna be the thumbnail of the first video. Just me watching the doggo for like 30 seconds. The mystical doggo of wonder. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> right. So we've got zero plus, zero plus symbols, three foods, no batteries, one camera, and two knives. Also, what's over here? Because it looks like another little ranger station thing. Right. Uh, that's a weird noise he makes when he jumps. That noise is... Oh, in, is it an invisible wall? Yeah, do, don't need to go that far. Okay, it is just an invisible wall, that's fine. Right, let's run back to our dude then. Oh, just let me check. Eh, let me quickly check something, that's fine. Hmm. You know what, we've met the wonderful doggo of wisdom, so I'm gonna cut this episode here. But I'm gonna, like, keep recording straight up. Uh, straight after. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time for another episode of 35mm. See you then.